virtual STEM club for Grow a Rainbow. I'm Sandy and today we have a fun, fun experiment using water and some colored tablets. You should have already picked up your take and make bag to do this project. So let's get started. In your take and make bag, you're going to find six pieces of paper towel, three craft sticks, three little color tablets in a plastic bag, and six cups. The only thing that you will need from home is some water, and to get started with the experiment, you'll want to put water in three of your cups, and you don't have to fill them all the way full, but somewhere around the three quarters ish mark and the other three are going to be empty to start with. So we'll set the empty ones aside for just a second and the first thing we want to do is we want to take our tablets and we're going to get them out of the plastic bag, there we go, and you're going to have they're going to look blue, purple, and orangey, and when they dissolve, we're going to have blue, red, and yellow, which are the primary colors that are used for mixing all the other colors. So to get started, I don't know if you, if it's easier to drop one in and you want to kind of smash it and break it up. Um, We'll try dropping it in the water first and see what's easier. So you put it in there and you want to mix and smash. And you see how my water is already turning colors? So that's what you want to do. If it's easier, we can try smashing it in the cup before we put the water in. And that might be easier. And I'll try that with this purple colored one, which breaks up a little bit um, and then just be careful if you do that you might send little pieces all over your table and also be careful with these tablets because they do sort of resemble candy and we all know that little like candy so make sure if you have pets or younger kids in the house that you use caution with these and so I've kind of chopped up my purple one and I can just take the water from one of my other cups and fill it up and see how that's starting to dissolve and break up and our yellow is still filling the color and I think I'm going to break up the blue one a little bit before I put that one in the water. So again you just try to smash it Try not to send little pieces, and maybe it's safer if you do do it in the water. So again, I've tried to smash it. I'll just pour water in there. And I'm just kind of let it soften and smash it, kind of break it up and get the water as saturated as we can. And what I mean by saturated is just get the most color dissolved into the water. And this will take a few minutes, but you can kind of see it fizzing and bubbling in there. And that blue is actually dissolving pretty well. And let's see how our yellow is doing. That's the one we started with, and that one's pretty good. It's almost dissolved. looking pretty good. Just stir and kind of mush up the tablet. And that's kind of a red color, ready pink. It'll get darker I think as it sets. So there's our red. Most of our blue has dissolved. Just kind of keep smashing and mixing until that's all done. All right. 
So once that's done, what you're going to do is take your three empty cups and you'll place them in between the colors like so. So we've got our red in an empty cup, the yellow in an empty cup, the blue in an empty cup, and then back to red. And what you're going to do is take your paper towel and kind of fold it in half like this and then fold it in half again. And you don't have to have these so close together if you don't want them. And so then you'll take and kind of fold it down. And then you're going to take the end of your paper towel, stick it in one color, and then stick it in the empty cup next to it. And then you'll do the same thing for each one of your pieces of paper towel. And then you can see a little bit how the color is already moving up our piece of paper towel. Now I'm going to do the yellow. And then you're going to take this end and you're going to put it in the cup with the red. And the reason that we're doing that is so that we can get the colors to move down the paper towel into the cup and get the moisture, the water moving down the paper towel to mix and see what kind of color we create when we're done. So I'll take my paper towel, just fold it and fold it. And then again, I'm going to stick this end in the yellow and this end in the empty cup. And if it's easier to keep the cups closer together, that's perfectly fine. I can see my yellow traveling down the paper towel here. And so now I'm going to put one end of this one in the blue and one end in this cup that's got the yellow already in it. empty cup and it's kind of fun to watch how fast the water is moving down the paper towel and it looks like our pink is about three quarters of the way down this paper towel the first one we put in and the yellow is about the same and so for my last paper towel see how I don't have any piece of paper towel bridging my red to my empty one that's going to connect to the blue. So we'll put this one in the empty red, or excuse me, in the red, and then put this one in the one that's going to meet the blue. And we'll watch the colors run up the paper towel, which I hope you can see the yellow is coming here. I've got red coming down this one. The blue is starting to come up. I can see it, I hope you can. And then what's gonna happen is ideally the water will travel down these paper towels, empty into the other empty cup and mix with the other color next to it and make different color combinations. And that is what we call color mixing. So we will watch this. It's, you're gonna to have to have a little bit of patience with this one. It's not an instantaneous thing, but you should, in a period of time, you should be able to see the colors mixing. Like in this one, I can see the water, the yellow water collecting in the bottom of this cup already. So um, it's gonna take a minute and the colors should move from from the full cup to the empty cup 
and then we should have some new colors created. Let's see if this experiment works. Just as a reminder, this experiment does take a little bit of time, but it's moving pretty quickly. I checked all the paper towel and most of them, the paper towels except for this last one I put in, are wet all the way to the bottom. And um, so what this experiment is called is color mixing. And what we're doing is we're moving one color from its original container into another, and actually back that up, we're taking two colors, moving it from its original container into a one that's not mixed, and we're taking two colors to mix. So take a minute while you're doing this experiment, looking at the colors, and see if you can guess what the colors will be once they're mixed. And again, mixing is moving the color along these paper towels into the container. So we'll, for instance, this one will be red and blue will be mixed in here. And red and yellow will be mixed in this one. And yellow and blue will be mixed into this one. Do you have any guesses on what your colors might be? Well, I'm going to tell you, so if you don't want to know, turn your video off now. But red and yellow will mix to make orange. And then blue and yellow will mix to make green. And then red and blue will mix and should make purple. And that is color mixing. Thank you for joining me today for this experiment, this virtual STEM club, Growing a Rainbow experiment. I hope you had as much fun as I did with the color mixing in this experiment. It's totally fun and I am enjoying every bit of it. I would love to see any video or pictures of you doing this experiment and your final results. And you can share them with us at the email address that's coming across the screen. Thanks again and we'll see you next time. Bye!